both teams averaging in the low 60s and playing that tough, gritty style in the paint. Yeah, it's going to be a defensive battle between these two teams. And look for the bigs to get involved early. They're going to be, for both these teams, they're going to look for a presence down low. Hughley was remarkable getting to the foul line as well. We'll talk a lot about that as we go through. Here is Jamar Lankford. He loves that fall away jumper. And an early two for Lankford, the sophomore from Worcester. Here's the three-pointer for Pitt, and the shot is not there off the mark with an offensive rebound. Moki got it, and then the putback try for Odukali not there, but the second effort is Femi Odukali, the sophomore from Brooklyn. Got the ball to the basket. That's where he really thrives. Here is Hughley. What a take for John Hughley, the sophomore. For each team, which does not score a lot of points, both teams play in the 60s pretty consistently. Here's a three ball. Odukali is good. Femi Odukali, who knocks down the triple. He's under a 30% three point shooter on the season. Mohamed Ugi, the redshirt sophomore, came in from Stony Brook after starting at Monroe Community College. Here is Burton, and the jumper is good. Yeah, that's exactly what BC wants to do, force those shots from the outside. You talked about the lead they had in the first game. They led majority of that game. Big time block, Mogi, and the slam! That's good defense there by Quinton Post, who really had Hughley down low trying to make a move. Nice find, Hughley, and the foul! And it's 13-5, and Quinton Post kick out to Gianni Thompson, who gets an early look here from Earl Grant. And Thompson, the freshman from down the road in Newton, has two. They don't necessarily jump off the page, but he has played now in five consecutive games. He's had seven minutes against Wake Forest on Monday, and here's the turnover. Jaden Zachary on the run, got it to Makai Ashton Langford for three. And Pitt is already fairly deep down its bench for their standards. They usually don't play a ton of bodies. Here is Post found some space. And when you're seven foot 240, you can just lay it up and in. Very similar to Brevin Galloway for Boston College that just adds an element to the offense that they otherwise don't really have. Good look inside for Post. Burton the other way for the Panthers, clad in black today. And Horton on the run, and the left hand is good for Ithiel Horton. So that ended a BC 6-0 run after the Panthers had gone on a run of their own. And here is Burton off the turnover, coming back. Floater, good. Jamarius Burton. So 19-17. Damar Langford trying to find some room, and he does for a matchup that last time these two teams played was so dominated the conversation about the fouls. We only have three on each side so far. Here's the drive, and DeMar Langford gets it in double figures with 11. Shooting slump on both sides now. The Eagles are over their last five, so is Pitt. They're not anymore though. What a pass from Quinn Post to find Makai Ashton Langford. 2.40 to go here in the first half. Here is Quinton Post, good find, another assist, and that goes in. Hughley was the last one to touch that. That was the theme of the first meeting. Post and Karnick fouled out fairly quickly. Here's a three ball, Post is good! Jamarius Burton came in and had the help defense against Karnick. And he talked about a help side D, active hands created that turnover. Here is Burton, and he gets the jumper. Panthers now are back within five. I like it, no pump fakes, going straight up, straight to the rim. Getting burning hot. Bickerstaff, strong take for TJ Bickerstaff. Both down low, just miscommunicating on who's gonna grab that ball, allowed for Bickerstaff to make a play on it. There's Makai Ashton Langford. Nice floater. Ten to shoot BC. Post. Somebody's got to be open. It's Zachary, it's for three, and it's good. 12 points last time these two teams played, and he was talking to Langford Jr. at the half. Horton trying to stop the run, and he does. Ithiel Horton with the three-pointer. Scored double digits in all but four games this season. Yeah, 13 in a row. He's been held to seven at the moment. DeMar Langford falling away. Oh boy, he's so good at that. For the last seven and a half minutes of game time. 
Horton step back, yes. That's what makes Horton so dangerous. The lead for Boston College has ballooned up to 22 points. And then after the fact, that was blocked by Thompson on Odu Kelly. Horton for three, and that's good. He's got a good looking shot. Their most points in the ACC came in the loss to Louisville, where Horton, that was the one game he played before this. So he really can be a factor. There is Zachary. Had him down low, just missed him. Burton falling away. You talked about BC slowing it down, trying to play their game, and that's what they're trying to do here late in the second half. Kai Ashton, Lakeford for three. Last time out was in a losing effort against North Carolina, holding the heels to just 58. There's a three ball for Mo Gee. And getting to the line 20 times. Today, that has not been the case. Just seven points and just five free throw attempts. Makai, oh, baby! And a 14 point lead for BC. Ashton Langford again. Got it again! Just uncharacteristic of them. Zachary, open, triple, yes! Seven three-pointer for Boston College. Struggled a little bit. It was four for 14 at one point, but they've come back, ended up making seven now. There is a bucket at the other end. Hughley missed the free throw there, so just three of seven from the foul line. So after going for 32 of the first time, credit Earl Grant, this Boston College team, Different game plan today, and it has worked outstandingly well. A couple of new guys into the game for BC. James Vanderbond has come in, and Andrew Kenny as well. Justin Vanderbond, Vanderbond, beg your pardon, who played a really solid 15 minutes against Pitt in the first meeting between these two teams. They have clawed their way back. Boston College led by as much as 22 points midway through this second half. There is a runner from Odu Kelly. They want Noel to shoot. He's not going to do it. He's got the win, and that's what matters. 69-56.